You know, Landos, it's one thing ending up looking like a rat after getting your makeup done and um, that makeup not being so good. But it's a whole nother uh, level when you end up looking questionable in actually good makeup. I could have been having a bad face day, Landos. Uh, I do be waking up like a puffer fish. Nice. This makeup look was bittersweet because the struggle, the struggle we went through to get it done. And I say we because there was a whole team involved in this makeup. <laughs> I'm looking proud of this makeup, honestly. It suffered, it went through a lot, and for it to end up looking the way it did, it's pretty impressive. Also, I love how we got a squeaky white clean towel that's only strategically stained with a suspicious color <laughs> right under my mouth. I swear I didn't do anything. <laughs> Nothing came out of my mouth, Landos. But something came out of someone else's mouth. <laughs> I don't see. So Landaz, after she so professionally turned my eye bags invisible, wait, I'm sorry, no, she turned my eye bags into luggage, eye luggage, eye cargo, that's what my bags are now. <laughs> also, I know I usually go for circus freak music, this time the salon is different, they were playing this actual genre of music while I was getting my makeup done. So I just wanted you to immerse in the experience. I wanted you to feel like, like we were getting our makeup done together, you know? Like you were sitting next to me. It's like kind of frustrating, honestly. Like you're out here in a rustling match. I don't know, play me some heavy metal at least. Anyway, um, I went on a little tangent here. I guess, ever heard anyone rant about salon music? Well, here you go. <laughs> First of all, I love how She's color coordinating her sponges with the product she's using. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if the first sponge was new, but the second one definitely wasn't. So it was pretty nasty. You can see I took a deep breath before she went in. <laughs> it just smelled bad. How are we feeling, Landas? How are you feeling about this foundation? You know, this technique <laughs> literally reminds me of someone scrubbing the onion. The onion? The oven. <laughs> you know how there's like sometimes like food deposits, you know, from all the cooking? That's what this reminds me of. And not with like your regular sponge. It's like those metal iron things that hurt before you even like put your finger on it. That's what this is giving. But Linda's, there's sorcery here. You know, no matter how dry that foundation is, no matter how flaky it feels, this makeup artist managed to make it look like it spreads across my face like butter. How? That is talent right there. And yeah, it did come at the cost of my comfort, but who cares? I guess her color coordinating sponges definitely helped. <laughs> Holy moly! 
Um, <laughs> I love how we have one eyebrow that's completely oxidized. Linda, there's only one explanation for this aggression. This is collateral damage <laughs> for that awful music. <laughs> She continues to blush me up, <laughs> which actually wasn't that bad. It's beautiful. She beautifully does it. <laughs> it was really bad. <laughs> what is that actually? Ew. We do be clowning. <laughs> Now, Lindas, just as we were starting to do my eyebrows, something happened. This makeup artist forcefully for feet. Yeah, she did. She just quit. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed from before, but there was another makeup artist <laughs> actually talking to this makeup artist and they were like kind of discussing what to do. So the other makeup artist took over and she was not having it. This makeup artist was not having it, Lindas. <laughs> Oh my god! I don't know why she started doing my eyebrows to begin with if they were gonna switch I guess she's like the foundation expert and the other one is like the eye expert but the thing is the other makeup artist took over and she started doing the same eyebrow the other makeup artist was doing <laughs> She was working on top of her work. So it was almost like she was correcting her work. You know, I'm not complaining. I actually ended up liking my eyes. Also, it was a good break from this rustling match. Like this makeup artist had no chill on those. She started doing my eyebrows. It took a good hour <laughs> for her to do one eyebrow. But again, I'm not complaining. Like she really wanted to perfect it. So we respect that. But Linda's, the other one was standing like right next to my head and she would just like murmur. <laughs> it was very toxic. Thank <laughs> you. 
¿Usted la puso qué de base? Un color. ¿No? Le puse. Está como blanco aquí. Un color le puso. Ah, sí. No entendía por qué salía el otro. Ese es el que está saliendo. Cuando difumina. ¿Cuánta Nice. Sí, Dani, te entiendo ahora. Sí, And now Lunda is looking at this and thinking of all the things this makeup look has been through. I'm sure you'd also be proud. You know, it's been through a lot. <laughs> and for it to end up looking like this, that's an achievement. Even though we do look like we haven't slept for maybe a couple of weeks, <laughs> it's still really not that bad. Like it's still giving makeup, you know? And strangely, I actually do like the colors. Like you can kind of tell there was a feud over the colors because Literally every single color on the planet is on my eyes right now, but it still works like it's working and Linda's on a final note We can't end this video without yet another Disagreement the the finale. <laughs> Let's call it that makeup artist number two Was extremely frustrated. I think she was just sick of this makeup. She was sick of me She was sick of her colleague She was just sick of everything and she just wanted to get it over with and and she took out her frustration on the blush <laughs>
eyebrows are questionable. Everything else, like even the blending over here, I was shocked when I like looked up a bit nicely. I was surprised. But then this part, I think because this is the problem with laying down, uh, you don't really see how you're gonna look when you're standing up. It's like messed up, I think. It looks rushed. It looks rushed because this looks perfect. And then here it's like, I honestly, I preferred the second one. The second one was the one who did the blending. So. Yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, it's not bad. It's not like at the absolute worst. The nice drama between the two was cute. And the place was like busy, but like for men.